How's it going? Ben Smock here. Whereas I'm going to do something different that a lot of gamers don't do. I'm going to do a review of an emulator. Well, a lot of gamers do reviews of games on emulators. I'm just going to just review an emulator. The emulator I'm going to review today is. I'll go show up in the stand behind. Project 64. Now, as you can see, here's here's what it looks like opened up. To boot up a ROM, you go to you go to File and open ROM. Simple as that. And you can see you get. Uh, it's just your documents, you can just store them, you store the games in your documents. The games I got are Banjo Kazooie, California Speed, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Prison Exotica, Doom 64, F-Zero X, Hydra Thunder, Kirby 64, Magical Tetris Challenge, Mario Parties 1, 2, and 3, Mega Man 64, NASFAR 2000, New Tetris, Paper Mario, Pokemon Stadium 2, San Francisco Rush, 2049, Star Fox 64, Tetrasphere, and Yoshi's Story. Okay, let's see. We're going to boot Star Fox 64. As you can see, it is booting up right now. Oops. It's hard to get to see that well. I forgot my stack of games that. Usually show stuff on. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. So, well, as you can see, here it is booted up. I know you really can't see it that well since it's on a small screen, but I cannot do a full screen because it will cancel out my video software as you can see it runs the games pretty well I better exit out of Napster Facebook so it will run better the thing I like about this emulator is when you go to system you can have cheats say so Star Fox 64 cheats you can have all, have all metals infinite armor Dual blue lasers, energy, hyper laser, and lives. And unlimited boost and smart bombs. Let's go with those cheats. I'm just going to show some gameplay here. And the controls, I'm using a USB Xbox 360 controller. I just use A for A, B for B. And the right analog for the C buttons. Uh, the bumpers for... Z and the triggers for R and R and of course the stick for the stick and the D-pad for the D-pad. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's do some training so I can get used to these controls and test out my flight skills. Welcome to yeah, it works fine. This is why a lot of gamers don't like emulators, because they call it cheating, so to speak, because they don't really call it, like, owning the game. Which, of course, I can understand that, because it's not, but if you ain't got enough money just to go on eBay and buy Star Fox 64, then I highly recommend this emulator, because unlike Wii 64 on the Wii Homebrew channel, this actually runs fluent, no flaws, except the select few on a few games. I've had problems with games like Mario Tennis, believe it or not. Mr. Ring. Whoa. Oops.
But yeah, if I were to do just a review over any game, I, I just, I, I'm just going to use a real console. Even though I did do, use an emulator on the Wii for my Prince of Persia gameplay video, where I like, talked about the frustrating controls. Otherwise, this controls just fine. I have no problem with it. You could use any controller. You could use a USB adapter for your Nintendo 64 controller, or if you have a USB Xbox 360 controller, just use that. Or any Xbox 360 or not, Xbox 360, but a USB controller. Hell, I'm pretty sure you could use a. Uh, PlayStation 3 controllers too, and PlayStation 2 controllers if they are USB, and arcade sticks. I've got a, a Street Fighter 4 arcade stick that I did a unboxing of earlier. Damn it! You can go to first person view. They're good to get out of that. Shit, shit, shit. And to end them, and to like stop playing, you just go up to file and hit end emulation. It's simple as that. Well, that pretty much concludes my uh, review of Project 64 version 1.6. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just comment and subscribe. Thank you.